Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to the World 2019. We are continuing our Madison Regionals coverage where this deck had a lot of people hyping about it in the chat during the event. Um, this deck, it is a pretty obvious combo when we got on Broken Bonds. I hadn't <coughs> given it a try because I didn't have any big... Um, any big um any big showings yeah at tournaments until now where it got day two um to replenish your stream graphics look super super clean now amazing job is that all you thank you so much i can't take credit for this um this is a package that i bought yeah to um like i invested into buying this package of cool graphics for the chat for this down here for the starting screen everything so that we could um, get some nicer looking streams going. However, this logo, this animated logo, that is definitely me. And um, the intro to the YouTube videos, which I hope you guys have um, liked, um, that is also 100% me. So yeah, thanks so much for noticing and the kind words for Pandage. So we have Picobolt with its stealthy body ability where if there is any stadium card in play, this Pokemon has no weakness. The fighting type weakness is not very relevant right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna say <clears throat> um, 150 HP is a pretty low number for a stage two at the moment, so very very frail. However, our electric cannon attack. Yeah, our electric cannon attack does 120 damage and you may discard all lightning energy from this Pokemon if you do this attack does 100 more damage. So a very costly attack, potentially very powerful as well, but also very costly. And Sir Panage, yeah, um, I did that for the Invitational, then um, I adapted it to Unbroken Bonds. Yeah, they're actually different. And I actually just updated it updated it yesterday yeah if you haven't watched my nagnadel video or my pikram video from today then you haven't seen the latest version <laughs> um anyways we have electric cannon dealing potentially 220 damage and we have charge a bug the main um pokemon in this deck which it had which has a battery ability where you may attach this card from your hand to one of your pika Volt or pika Volt gx as a special energy and this card provides two lightning energy while attached so essentially not only does this not count as your attachment for the turn but you can use two charge of bugs get four energy onto the vehicle Volt, and then use electric cannon so <clears throat> charge of bugs are there to be used as energy not to evolve into vehicle Volt. that's why we have forward candy as well and we have our four beautiful um grubbin as well where we can search our deck for up to two lightning Pokemon, reveal them and put them into our hand with the electrical signal, or we can use Corkscrew Punch for three energies and 30 damage, which is really, really terrible. Um, but finding double Charge Bug or finding double Beagle Bolt or even the Dene sounds like a pretty good deal. Now, support wise, we have the Coco Prism Star, we have the Dene GX, and we have the four Jirachis. And hello, Revichu, thank you so much for being here. Um, not four, sorry, three Jirachis. So that hopefully we can start with it and start using Stellar Wish to find us those rare candies and other draw supporters. Um, speaking of, we have four Lilies, three Cynthias, and two Volkners. We only have Countercatcher and Escape Rope as a way to um, try and target down the right Pokemon or a different Pokemon from what's active. But this deck does spend a lot of time trying to set up, therefore there's not enough space for Guzmas. Um, double Electro Power to increase our damage output along with Double Choice Band. Shrine of Punishment also helps us with the extra damage for um, high HP GXs to put them in range of Electric Cannon. Thunder Mountain means we can use the attack with a single Lightning and with one Charge Bug rather than two Lightning and one Charge Bug or Double Charge Bug. We have um, four Ultra Ball for Nest Ball and four Candy, of course, along with Triple Lure Ball. Which you flip three coins and four each heads, you put an evolution Pokemon from your discard ball into your hand. So this is a really neat way to recycle charger box, potentially get another Vico to play. But we also have triple rescue stretcher to get those charger box back. And we have a few switching cards, the one of switch, the escape rope I mentioned, and the double escape board, along with one field blower to get rid of pesky tools and stadiums that our opponent might have. So yeah, that is the list. Let's jump into a ladder and see if we can get this deck to work. Now, we played a best of three against Andrew Mahone, if you are watching on YouTube. 
Uh, the video should be up by the time you guys are seeing this one. But if you're live with me on Twitch, we played against Andrew Mahone in a best of three in the morning where he was playing the order pad version of Picrom and I was playing the Jirachi version of Picrom in order to settle um, the score and see which version was better. Um, not necessarily better, just um, which version was, um, or to showcase both versions rather. And I ended up narrowly, narrowly top decking. Yeah for the game <laughs> h2w you've been waiting for this moment hopefully that deck works honestly every time i use like not so uh standard decks i feel like i end up miserably failing <laughs> so hopefully that's not the case here uh the mulligan is definitely very welcome here i feel like we're up against um baby plants i would assume based on the fact that my opponent only has a fire type altar of the sun huh so Kiawe, maybe it's just Reshizard actually. Altar of the Sun is an interesting inclusion though for sure. Um, it does remove the weakness, which is obviously great. Uh, nothing ideal and wow, no, it's, I mean, okay. We see Baby Blounce, it doesn't mean there's no Reshizard, right? It just means he has Baby Blounce as a potential backup attacker. Please don't be a Blitzy deck indeed, that's what we are hoping for, right? That is indeed what we are hoping for. The two retreat cost on Grobin is annoying, so which means I can't just retreat into um, Jirachi. And then we saw Nest Ball, I mean Fire Flint plus Welder for next turn. This deck also doesn't have a way to attack our opponent's hand, uh, but Rare Candy Beak Gold definitely welcome um, to the deck okay so we haven't seen anything other than the baby blounts right off of the mulligans because i'm thinking i would love to just burn these but they might be necessary for later but lily for two feels really weak not that lily for four feels better though uh Okay, so double rare candy stadium. If I had found an energy, that would have been nice to just find double charge a bug. Um, <clears throat> no energy for us, however. So this poor Grubbin is probably gonna get taken down. Um, Jarev, <laughs> you were pretty sure my Pigrom version is better, but you thought Andrew would have better luck. But that last top deck Guzma proved you wrong. Yeah, <laughs> top deck Guzma was. Um, definitely something I never expected. Um, I was assuming slash hoping that I would hit the Kuzma off of the Jirachi, but when I top decked it, I was definitely pretty happy. All three games were pretty close though, and it showcased, I feel like, both the strengths of both decks, right? I feel like it really showcased the decks of both strengths pretty, pretty nicely. I feel like it was, it was a really good series. <laughs> Heart of the cards indeed. Okay, so my opponent decides to go after Jirachi, meaning my um, my Vika Volts stay alive, but we have yet to see my opponent play anything else. So now, all I need is a Lightning Energy. All I need is a Lightning Energy and a Grubbin in order to win. So I'm going to play to that that's why i'm thinning as much as i can so yeah we need either double charge a bug or lightning plus charge a bug off of this cynthia first six we'll see what we get lightning charge a bug there we go so i don't evolve though that oh nice battery or evolve that's pretty cool <laughs> There we go, GG to my opponent, Electric Cannon, we will deal the extra damage just for the sake of it. Um, I feel like my opponent's Welder was super greedy, or not the Welder, the Greens was super greedy. I feel like you need to establish like more basics. So in the end we don't find out what else my opponent was playing, but based on the Stadium and the Kiawe, I assume... Oh yeah, this is already officially better than the Blitzy deck. I feel like my opponent was playing some sort of Reshizard Greens version of the deck. Yeah, that's what I would assume. 
Okay, so we call the coin flip, we call it correct. So going first, obviously, with a stage two deck is really, really significant and really, really important. We got a friendly hello and a heart. Thank you so much, opponent. That's very kind of you. And we get a uh, Jirachi start. So we really can't ask for much more. Okay, so let's go ahead and Stellar Wish. Uh, I mean, definitely the Volkner is not the card that you would look for on turn one, but it's also not the worst. With this hand, however, I generally think I'm gonna have to play the Dene here. <clears throat> in order to try and stabilize. I really feel like I'm going to have to play the Dene here. The Dene is in the deck, which is good. Which is good. I am going to lose two very valuable resources, right? In the lure ball and the, um, and the stretcher, because I'm using a stretcher preemptively, essentially. Not the end of the world, but not ideal either. And I went for a second Jirachi because with my bonus start, I feel like he's not gonna dedicate a Guzma to KO my Grubbin. Oh my gosh, I misplayed. Ah! <laughs> I'm speaking of the Dene, then I don't grab the Dene. Oh my gosh, how silly was that? <laughs> That's what happens when you're talking, uh, when you're talking and uh, playing at the same time, yeah? That's why a lot of people say, well, you play so bad online, how do you do well at tournament? <laughs> well, um, I'm not talking out loud at tournaments. Ah, oh, that was so silly. <laughs> oopsies, big, big oopsies. No let loose for us. And we're up against Order Pad. Whoa, we might be up against um, Andrew's Picron deck. <laughs> This deck's so good you just want to give your opponent a shot. I mean, it seems like my opponent won't be able to get a KO on turn one, ideally. Well, the two lightnings. Do as I said, not as I do. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right? It's like, I talked about the Detene, I checked for the Detene, and I simply didn't click on the Detene. I guarantee, you, like, in my mind, I was thinking, I need to um, discard... I mean, my Jirachi is going to get KO'd. Oh, did you get double energy switch? Or did you get Thunder Mountain? Please don't. Okay, okay. We're, we're safe for, for now, at least. Um, so I'm going to still wish. Definitely grabbing the Lily, right? Definitely grabbing the Lily. I will attach this. Now, I honestly, I have a shot here. If I find a way to switch and a rare candy and a charge of bug. Oh, not the right switching card, though. Not quite the right switching card. Um, okay, so now I think it's the Dene time. Okay, Pablo, focus. Yeah, please focus, Pablo, and grab the Dene. If I get this KO, my opponent is done for. I need one switch or one of my one switch or two escape boards and one of my four charger box. That's all I need here. Can I pull this off? No, not quite. Not quite. I mean, I have the backup Vika Vault, which is nice. I also have the shrine to start taking away at those high HP monsters. <laughs> we got the right card this time, just not the right combination of um, things. <clears throat> ah, so close though, so close. Okay, so the shrine didn't get two ticks, so if this vehicle goes down, uh, I'm gonna need now a, a choice band or an electro power, along with double charger bug. So not ideal, not the end of the world either. Uh, but yeah, my opponent goes for the safe play, retreats. Oh, never mind. Well, I guess that's even safer. Uh, he was holding the Guzma. Imagine if I had gotten the knockout. That would have been insane. I mean, I, generally, I could have gotten a knockout. I just... carrying that didn't seem great. And he just goes all in on the Pikram. 
My opponent just goes all in on the Pigram. Now I need a fabulous Stellar Wish into a draw supporter, into a, fabu into a fabulous draw. One card off on that three card. So let's go Stellar Wish. Ugh. I am 10 damage short. I am 10. Oh no, I'm more. Never mind. I am more damage short. <laughs> I am one energy still short. Um, yeah, I'm in a lot of trouble because of attack bolt now. Uh, stretcher doesn't help me. Nope, I think we're dead here. Oh, we think the last turn really sucked. I'm fairly sure we are dead here. I mean, I think it's definitely established another Grubbin, right? Yeah. And then I'll bench this, and then I'll pass. Ugh. Super awkward. Super, super awkward. Does my opponent have another Guzma? I really hope my opponent's greedy and tag bolts the Dedene. If he tag bolts the Dedene, we might, might still have a chance. We might still have a chance. Place on the choice band. I hope he goes after the big old though. That's the right play. You can always just Kuzma the Dutene. Yeah. Okay, so my opponent plays it right. Oh, we got a potentially really good start, but then we weren't able to capitalize. We had the wrong switching card, which was the escape rope. Okay, so Stellar Wish, still no draw supporter, so I'm gonna call it quits here. Darn, so close. <coughs> we got the right combination of cards, just not in the right order. <coughs> if that escape rope had been a switch or escape board, that would have been a dead Picarum right there. But oh well. Let's find another game, see if we can do better. Let's see if we can do better. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we are waiting. We lose a coin flip. And we have a less than stellar start. I feel like with this start, I definitely want to start the Coco. So I can potentially escape board into something else. I mean, Lily for four is not terrible, it's just not very good either. And we're up against a Volcanian, Reshizard deck presumably based on greens yeah <clears throat> presumably based on greens but not necessarily true so we see a choice band and a guzma getting discarded i don't think my shrine will be able to get the five ticks it needs to one shot without choice band i need it to have two ticks though and no we see the lele so it's actually Either similar to the list that got second by Azul or to my list that got first in Sao Paulo, but we are going to see the turn one Kiawe for my opponent. <clears throat> Probably worth just taking Price of Rope. I mean, maybe, but I feel like <clears throat> if I played the rope there, I definitely would not have had a chance at killing the Picarum. Or if, if I killed the Picarum there after he already has used his Coco Prism, that's pretty much game. Yeah, so I feel like. Taking one prize versus potentially winning the game, you try to win the game, yeah, in that spot. Okay, the Volkner is pretty nice for next turn, so we can rare candy into our Grubbin. Uh, okay, so if my, is my opponent really holding a Guzma here? <clears throat> I'm going to take the chance and say he's not. <clears throat> Excuse me.
excuse me, still a wish. Okay, so that works. We gift a Jirachi to my opponent, right? And we also don't get a KO on the vehicle, I mean, on the Volcanian either. Right, we don't get a KO yet. Yeah, it's like if I was playing, if I was playing to just outright win the game, it mo it should have been to try to do to do that. Oh wow, that's the second Guzma my opponent has discarded so far. That is the second Guzma my opponent has discarded here. So finds a fire flint, gets a KO. I get a rescue stretcher, does that even help me? Not quite. Well, I guess it does. It buys me a turn, right? I'm in no rush, I guess. Play for whatever gets a good Twitch clip. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know the drill. Okay, I feel like I should still wish first because that way I have forward candy in the deck rather than 3-5 Volkner, which means... And Paul, thank you so much for the host. Which means that uh, I'm going to lose this other Jirachi as well. I mean, I never evolve, right? I feel like I would never evolve through the Charger bug here. I, I think. Yeah, so I'm gonna rare candy, I'm gonna find a lightning. I feel pretty safe now that my opponent has one Guzma left. That my V Cobalt was actually going to survive here. And then the question becomes I definitely ultra wall for another Jirachi I feel. Two V Golds are prized, I had not realized that. I mean, we are going very slow here, but I don't think we need to go fast at all. Right? I don't think we need to go fast at all. I'm kind of liking evolving here. I know it's not ideal, but I do think that's the right call. <clears throat> Just get double pickle. Don't rely on drawing rare candy. <clears throat> it's much easier to find charger box with Ultra Bolts and the charger box themselves. And it is to find rare candies. We see the second Volcanian, so it's neither mine nor Azul's list. And we see the High Heat Blast being used. But basically, I need back to back Pika Volts, right? I need back to back Pika Volts. So I'm going to evolve here. And then I'm going to. Cynthia, I wish I could Field Blower just to get rid of it, but I do need the Escape Port right there. And okay. So I can, right, I can get a KO with the Thunder Mountain. Actually, no, I can't. Never mind. So I'm going to play the Shrine. And then hope my opponent doesn't have a counter stadium. Uh, so the counter catcher is actually pretty cool, right? I'm going to keep the counter catcher. I'm going to keep the counter catcher. I am going to bench the Jirachi. I will go ahead and dance of the ancients onto one of the Vika Volts. And then I will go ahead and pass. I lose another Jirachi, that's fine. I think I think. Okay. We see an acrobike. Please don't counter the shrine. We need one more tick. All right, one more tick and then I feel confident here. We see the Turtonator. Ah, oh, we see the Field Blower as well. Well, that's not good. Oh! And my opponent also has Guzma, so... That was a pretty bad use of Coco Prism then, but I had no idea that would happen. Okay, so go big or go home, we said, right? 
Go big or go home. No switching card. That's a beautiful, beautiful top deck. I grabbed the counter catcher to put the charge out in front. My opponent did that for me. So I'm gonna grab the charge up here. <clears throat> I will use the battery ability. So I'm hitting four to 20. Yeah, that's the last Guzma as well. If I'm hitting four to 20. I get zero damage modifiers. That is so sad. <laughs> that is so sad that I got zero damage modifiers. Um, I do have the potential follow up electric cannon. So I'm gonna get outraged, right? But not the end of the world because after this guy goes down, the only thing that I can one kill is Turtonator, which is a big deal, actually. Ugh. Third Fire Flint. Yeah, and my opponent still has so many welders. Has double Lele, so his list is just out of this world. It's no one's. It's not a list that has done well recently, which that's fair. See the welder for the one off energy. We're gonna get KO'd here. I don't think we can produce a fourth B gold, honestly. I don't see that being possible. Um <clears throat> So yeah, we get KO'd. We do get KO'd. I will get return KO myself. My opponent didn't attach energy. Okay, that's step number one. And that is really nice, right? That is definitely really nice. Because then that guarantees that I do have the KO here with the double charge of log. Battery number one, battery number two. Looks so funny with the with the charger box right there. I'm gonna play the field blower. Yeah, with no effect. And then I'm going to Cynthia. Okay, that's actually really nice. After I KO this Turtonator, I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping my opponent will not have another Guzma. So after I KO this Turtonator, which as with, I need one head flip off of this lure ball, just one head flip, yeah, or not even thanks to an Ultra Ball, I should be good. Looking, looking close, yeah, more than good, looking very close. Extremely, extremely close. We need my opponent to not let loose here. We need my opponent to not let loose. <clears throat> we see the welder. I assume he's gonna fully commit. Oh no, he's gonna commit to the Vulcanian. Ooh, that's harsh. Okay, will my opponent have custom catcher <clears throat> or escape rope? <coughs> because of the escape rope potential, I do believe I'm going to need to bench the Dene to be extra safe. Well, the issue is he can't two shot me. I have no way to go after Lele. So I KO him, he deals 110, and then what do I do? And then what do I do? Because my counter gatcher is gone. My counter gatcher is gone. Okay, so we'll see. Uh oh, oh no, this bug. What? Okay, so I can't take a look at my discard pile apparently anymore. Okay, so we're gonna lead with the lure ball. Tails, tails, one heads. We'll get the charge of log. And then I need to evolve here. And then I need to Volkner for rescue stretcher, right? Because I need another grub in here established. Yeah, I need another Grobin. Three lure balls, two stretchers gone. Yikes. Oh boy. I don't think I can win here. I'm fairly sure I will not be able to win this one. It's 
It's not looking great. <clears throat> it's really not looking great. Okay, so I'm gonna battery to the active. Gonna battery to the active. If he has escape rope, he has escape rope, and then that's it. No Jirachi though. So I'm gonna electric cannon. Oh no. No. <laughs> what the heck, PCGO? No, come on. Well, <laughs> Joe wrote, thank you. Oh, geez. I mean, I don't think we would have won anyways. What? Charge up bog in the charge up bog, bog does out. Ugh. What the heck? Ugh, PTCGO can be so frustrating sometimes. So, so frustrating. Okay. So, one last chance for Beagle. Definitely not liking the deck though. <laughs> we would have won for sure, right? Totally, totally, guys. Totally, we would have won that one. Not really. We would have needed to get Lily off the top into Rare Candy, <clears throat> into Stretcher. And that might have done it. Okay, so we get to go first this time around, which is nice. Uh, once again, not the best start. We have to start Coco so that we can escape board onto a Jirachi to try and find a Lily. Lily would be nice. Um, metal energies. I have no idea what we're up against. <clears throat> I honestly have no idea what we're up against. I still have no idea what we are up against. I am still utterly clueless as to what we are up against. Um, and then, I mean, I guess I don't need to bench. <laughs> still a wish. Ugh, once again, turn on Volkner versus no Lily and no Cynthia. It's fine, I guess. So I will Grubbin, I will Volkner. My Jirachi su should survive, right? My Jirachi su should survive. So I'm going to grab the Escape Board and the Lightning. So I can attach and make sure that I can retreat to potentially start applying pressure. <clears throat> and Mega Silge, any new Quagsire variations? You're playing Quagmentel and White Curum. It works enough. Um, so this weekend, yeah, there was a um, a Quagsire deck that had Puzzle and Formosa and the unit energies. Yeah, and therefore they could beast game with the plus bonus. Yeah, eventually it had enough energy to where they could beast game with the plus bonus and get three extra prize cards when they knocked something out. So that was pretty cool to see. Yeah. What do you think about Blastoise GX in today's meta? It's just as bad as this deck because it's a stage 2 deck. Stage 2 decks are not viable and just because you are a water type does not mean you are going to beat the fire types. And also, you have a really poor matchup against everything else. So, <clears throat> definitely don't think Blastoise GX is a good card. So yeah, Mega Silch, if you want to check it out, I posted the list um, on my YouTube channel yesterday. Yeah, a video featuring the list yesterday. And I have no idea what Aegislash Slash actually does. Um, that top deck is super nice. Yeah, thank you so much, Vika Volt deck. Thank you so much. This one, I need an Ultra Wall. Not quite. <clears throat> Not quite an Ultra Wall here. What is this? Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Oh, so this is Tool Drop. This is actually Tool Drop. Yeah, I mean, maybe my ELO is actually really going down. Should I just evolve to save our rare candy? Yeah. Yeah, that seems good, because next turn I'm probably going to have to Cynthia, which means I'll lose the word candy. I don't think I'll need the choice band, so I'll just attach it, and then I'll pass. 
What's the best bad deck in your opinion? One that you think shouldn't do well, yet tournament results continue to defy that. I mean, Blast Zephalon. <laughs> Blast Zephalon GX is one of them. Um, <laughs> Bleezy, definitely. Uh, <laughs> what else? I don't know. I mean, Zorg in general just feels super awkward most of the time. And yet it still does well, but I feel like you have to run really, really hot with it. <clears throat> Pleasy indeed, Tord. Pleasy indeed. I mean, I did have to play against shit, didn't I, with Pleasy, so <laughs> that definitely didn't help our, our case. Pleasy is fine if you play against GXs and you don't draw really bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, we see the Guzma. I have resistance, however. Wait, what? Wait, what? Attached to all Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I have my own tool cards. I'm at my own fault of my own demise. No, but how is that 130 damage though? Oh yeah, there's five tool cards. I thought it was 20 times. Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Oopsies. Okay. So, can I get an Ultra Ball? No, I can't. I really can't get an Ultra Ball. Or a Volkner. Um, big yikes. Okay, so I'm going to Field Blower away these two. Right. And I feel like I should just the Dene here. I feel like the Dene gives me the best chance at attacking this turn. So I'm gonna bench through the Dene. <clears throat> Where can he be go? There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about, people. That's what I'm talking about. We are going to battery. I mean, no follow-up supporter is really sucky. And I'm even gonna get rid of this. Um, tool card, and then we will retreat and we will electric cannon keeping everything. Okay, so we get return KO, very nice. We have metal resistance now, so my opponent needs eight tool cards not eight, sorry, six tool cards. <laughs> I was thinking 180, therefore, eight tool cards. Um, six tool cards in play in order for us to get KO'd. Basically five um, since we have one. Yeah, yeah the traders, right? <laughs> the traders. I would have been really, really silly if I, if my own choice band had allowed him to knock me out. But without the choice band, I still would have been knocked out. So it's fine. Did get Volkner off the prizes, which is nice to establish another Robin potentially. <clears throat> We see the two blade. <clears throat> the skateboard. So many lightning energy. Does my opponent play Coco GX as well? That's four tool cards now. Five with my skateboard. Uh oh. One more Pokemon, one more tool. One more Pokemon, one more tool. That's all my opponent needs. <clears throat> I actually like his list with like shrine and stuff. Okay, so I'm hoping my opponent, that's all he can do right now. So he's debating on whether it's worth it to attack or who he sacrifices. I assume that's what's going on through my opponent's head right now. <clears throat> yep, that's exactly what was going on. He decides to flop. 
Okay, definitely feel like Volkner is the right call here. And a nest ball, and then I'll grab the energy. <clears throat> I'm gonna establish another grubbin. Establishing another grubbin, attaching to that very same grubbin. And then electric cannon for no discard, obviously. Okay, so now we're ahead in the price race. We could have Vigold, which is potentially useful. Potentially, right? So my opponent needs the exact same thing as the previous turn. <clears throat> Finds a Pokemon. But now he still now he needs two tools and a Pokemon instead of one tool, one Pokemon. There's a Pokemon, so is my opponent's or are my opponent's remaining two cards tools? Does he have a supporter? If he does, then why did he Stella Wish first? You see the other Jirachi. Okay, that that is a bit of a sign of weakness, I feel. I imagine he's going to retreat into the other Jirachi. Do you try to dead GX this turn if Stadium sticks? Potentially, yeah. That actually sounds very reasonable. Thanks to the Electro Power, I could get dead GX, get a knockout with Jirachi, promote my Jirachi, which sure it gets KO'd, but then that's one less tool card, right? So it wouldn't be a bad thing. So yeah, that would be the plan. That would definitely be the plan. Okay, so my opponent does find Lily immediately grabs it after this Tele Wish. So now he needs Switch plus a tool card. Oh, but he has a Kuzma. Well, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> well, there goes the dead a change plan. <laughs> there goes the dead a change plan. The tingly return. We were not able to tingly return our opponent here. <clears throat> Hmm. He heard you indeed, Sir Panage. <laughs> okay, so now the Electro Power doesn't seem necessary whatsoever. There's definitely no better target to KO with the Counter Catcher. So that in particular, that KO in particular does put us behind in the price trade-off. However, we are looking mighty fine here with our... <clears throat> Sorry about that, I don't know what's happening with our triple Vicavolt. I feel like I should use the battery, right? No reason not to. Uh, don't wanna discard, but thanks for, thanks for asking. Stream Sniper for sure. <laughs> totally, guys. <laughs> totally. Okay. Vicavolt. So still needs five Pokemon plus five tool cards on his side of the field. <clears throat> we see the Lily, so it's looking very likely, right? That he will be able to pull it off. <clears throat> Still a wish. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Hmm. Goes for the stellar wish. For the other stellar wish. So maybe he doesn't have the tool card. Immediately grabs the escape ward. So the question is, does my opponent have... No, okay. So once again, we get the advantage now. We got a very, very nice top deck off of the... With the Lily, so I'm gonna go ahead and Ultra Wall. <clears throat> Getting rid of. I mean, I'm really not gonna let go of the advantage that I currently have. So I'm gonna grab the Charge of Bug. There is one Charge of Bug in the discard to in play. Therefore, one is prize still. <clears throat> Jeez. Uh, the choice band helps my opponent, but as long as I get a knockout every single turn, I should be perfectly fine. I'm gonna rescue stretcher, no need to risk the flips. I even have the other energy, so I have three charge up three V-Golds powered up. <clears throat> three V-Golds fully powered up, right? Where each one takes a prize and then that's game. I do not see how my opponent will be able to make a comeback here. Cool is trash, would you say V-Gold has a place in the meta? What tier would you rank it as? I would rank it as tier 3. I don't think it has a place in the meta, honestly. Um, it's, it's purely okay. Yeah, you need way too much to get going and even your damage threshold is not high enough to want to kill things like Reshizard, so meh. I wouldn't rank it very high at all. Yeah, I wouldn't rank it very high at all. Triple and en en <laughs> triple enhanced hammer would actually be very bad. Triple enhanced hammer would actually be very very bad. Triple Enhanced Hammer, KO Gold, GG, right? Triple Enhanced Hammer, KO Gold, Let Loose, GG. No Let Loose anymore because my opponent's bench is full. Lily. You see the Lily. <clears throat> we get our V Gold KO'd finally for my opponent. That V Gold took so many prizes. Right? So, so many prizes. I'm gonna go ahead and Stellar Wish. Uh, grab the Shrine. No, not the Shrine. I'll grab the Escape Robe. You never know, right? You never know what might happen. <clears throat> and then I'll go ahead and retreat. And then I'll go ahead and electric cannon, keeping all the energy, of course. Keeping all the energy. Before we get started. Oh my gosh. My phone is just being super weird. Okay. So yeah, that should be game. Unless my opponent has never mind. I was gonna say Puzzle for Mosa, Beast Energy, and Guzma for KO on Jirachi. Which doesn't seem to be the case. And he just attached energy. And he just attached energy, so it's actually fine. Hello dual streaming with Siri. <laughs> Don't put that bad juju on your favorite deck H to WM. Um place the bodybuilding dumbbells. So I guess he's hoping that I forget. <laughs> He's hoping that I forget that he gets 10 extra HP. That's his best hope, that I forget. And or that I misclick, right? That is the best hope for my opponent. But, no, he, he gets a game and then he immediately concedes. So he doesn't even wait for me to see if I make the mistake of forgetting that bodybuilding dumbbells puts him at 120 HP rather than 130. So two wins, two losses for the deck. Not bad. Uh, not very impressed either. Yeah, that's why you took the escape rope. Exactly. <laughs> um, not too impressed either. 
Um, so yeah, that will be all for Vika Vault. And now I probably have time for one more deck, guys. You get to choose, yeah? Do you want to see an updated Mimikyu, Mimikyu and Gengar plus Oma Star deck? Or would you like to see the deck that I used against Andrew Mahone in the morning in our best of three? You guys get to choose. Thanks so much for the follow, The Real August. Um, let me know in the chat and I will be right.